this tutorial we will write a java program to multiply two matrices two matrices basically uh, using multi dimensional arrays now uh, if you uh, remember how do we multiply two matrices the first condition is that you need to have a uh, number of columns of first matrix equals to number of rows of the second matrix for example if your matrix 1 is uh, m by n order okay m by n order then your second matrix have to have n by or anything n by k order something okay because so uh, these are columns of the first matrix and these are the rows of the second matrix they must be equal if they are not equal the multiplication is not possible and your order will be uh, if above two are your matrices then the multiplication the order of the multiplication matrix will be m by k so multiplication uh, order will be first row row of the first column row of the first matrix and columns of the uh, second matrix so uh, this is the uh, only condition so let's define we have uh, row 1 equals to 2 and column 1 equals to 3 and we have row 2 equals to row 2 have to have 3 okay because columns are 3 so this has to have 3 and this uh, uh, c2 can be anything but i take it uh, 2 so uh, let's define our uh, matrices we have integer data type of uh, uh, two matrices m1 equals to i have uh, uh, 3 minus 2 5 and other array is 3 uh, 0 and 4 0 and 4 and this whole will be in entire array okay so now we have uh, two rows one row i'm sorry one row and uh, a second row so we have two rows and three columns okay okay so we have another matrix of integer data type m m2 and this is equals to uh, 2 3 2 3 and minus 9 0 and last 0 and 4 okay so this will be our basically um, an array of m2 okay so uh, if you see this has two rows two rows and three columns one two three and m2 has a three rows one row second row third row so we have three rows and two columns one column two column okay okay so now we have two matrices and this has two columns uh, two rows three columns and this has three rows so two three columns three rows the multiplication is possible and the resulting matrix will be of the size uh, they'll say uh, multiplication this will be equals to of integer of size column uh, row 1 and column 2 so row 1 and uh, column 2 so this will be the size of, of our resulting matrix which will be the multiplication so uh, for multiplication we need to start basically three loops i equals to 0 i less than row 1 and i plus plus and over here for j j equals to 0 j is less than c2 j plus plus and another loop will be integer uh, k equals to 0 k is less than c1 and k plus plus now over here we need to multiply uh, multiplication plus equals to m1 um, i k and multiply by m2 uh, k and j there we go 
Okay, I'll walk you through the code once we are done. So don't worry if you don't understand this. And finally, we want to print it. So uh, I say uh, the product is uh, first I take row. So integer array row from uh, row. I take row from or uh, multiplication. And inside this loop, I have another row in which I take column from row and I uh, print it. But I don't give a new line character column and I want some uh, spaces for that. I just give tab character and outside this loop I want new line so that my next my next uh, yeah uh, my next row uh, is on the new line. Okay, so uh, let's see if this works out. So error here because I forgot semicolon. I'm so sorry. And other and other error. And this says bad operand types for binary. So uh, okay. So the error is that basically our multiplication is a multidimensional array. So instead of us adding it to the array. I will add it to the I and J. So I forgot to in, uh, give the indices. So now let's run it again and see if this works out. And it does, which is uh, great. Now let me walk you through the code and see if uh, I can explain. So uh, let me. Uh, let me just uh, format it in a way where you can uh, look at them like rows and columns. Okay, so now if you see this has two rows and uh, three columns. Okay, and this has uh, three rows and uh, uh, two columns. Okay, so now the multiplication goes something like that. You will multiply this entire row with this entire column. And this entire row with this entire column. So this will be something like 3 multiplied by 2 plus minus 2 multiplied by minus 9 plus 5 multiplied by 0. Okay. And then in another iteration, 3 multiplied by 3 plus minus 2 multiplied by 0 plus 5 multiplied by 4. And once this row is done, we will pick this row and do the same. So 3 multiplied by 2 plus 0 multiplied by minus 9 plus 4 multiplied by 0 and then 3 multiplied by 3 plus 0 multiplied by 0 plus 4 multiplied by 4. So what actually happening over here is that we are starting a loop of i then j then k and we are giving i j means first 0 0 0 0 first i j both are 0 so multiplication 0 0 will get uh, m1 i k which uh, 0 0 multiplied by 0 0 okay m2 so 3 multiplied by 2 but in other iteration you still have i and j 0 but k is your 1 so you will get 0 1 1 0 so this is your 0 same row one column but this is your uh, 1 0 so your one row 0 column so this so minus 2 multiplied by minus 9 Okay, and in another iteration, your k will be now 2. So when k is 2, i and j both are 0. Okay, so uh, this is again 0, 0. You are just adding them because you again want to add 2 multiplied by 3. You want to plus minus 2 multiplied by minus 9. You want to plus 5 uh, multiplied by 0. Okay, that's why we are adding it in the same element. But when your k is 2, what you are doing is 0, 2. So 0 row, 2 column, 2 column this, 2 index, 0, 1, 2, 2 index, so 5 multiplied by uh, 2, 0, so 2 row, 0 column, which is 0, so 5 multiplied by 0, so you did a good job, okay, and now what you need is, you need to multiply the same row by this same column, so you need to just change the value of j, you want to change the value of j, not i, okay, 
so you want to since this loop is done now uh, j was zero so now j will be one okay j will be one and this will go on up to column two uh, c2 c2 is the number of columns in second matrix which are two so zero is done now one will be so when uh, column is uh, one so this row same will be multiplied by this when this is done it will pick another i which will be another row and this will again go on with the same procedure and for this i would like to show you a, a picture this is actually the working how it is going okay so every time this is just uh, the, this is basically the positions of the um, matrices so a11 means uh, first first row first column b11 means uh, b matrix first row first column and so on okay and in every you are just uh, in every iteration you are just doing is you are taking uh, entire row of the first column and multiplying it with the column of a uh, second matrix then another column of the second matrix and then so on okay so this is basically the working of uh, the loops now if you will think that uh, how can i actually grab the uh, concept of this multiplication you are right it is not always easy to grab the concepts to make uh, things on your own to make the entire algorithm on your own because this is very difficult for this you need to work out on a paper you need to just show all the steps you just need to uh, explore on yourself uh, to make steps how actually things will go on then you uh, write the loops loops okay so this is yeah pretty much uh, difficult to keep track of uh, like three nested loops this is uh, not very easy okay and then over here we are just printing the product and we are taking row at a time and we are then uh, then uh, uh, taking one element of the row at a time and uh, printing them out and that's it i hope uh, you understood something and if you did please subscribe my youtube channel and i will see you in next tutorial with a new program